What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Monday. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, I come across this video on TikTok right here, and it's called uh, Chariots of God Visits GMS. In case you guys are wondering who GMS is, GMS is a, a camp, you know, of the Hebrew Israelites, and they basically are compro composed of like uh, different camps like different sections in different cities, okay, states and cities. But they, you know, big, you know, uh, organization that brings forth the word. Now, let's check this video out and then we'll get into the commentary, okay? Now, I don't know about you guys, but what really got my attention was this light that kept flying all over the place. You understand? But yeah, what it is, is they are marveling about these uh, chariots right here. And just, uh, I think it was Friday, I post a uh, actual chariot sighting myself, okay? The difference between me and them, though, is this. I happen to know that this is not... Yahweh. This is not Yahweh Shai. Okay. This is basically, you know, um, in the scriptures where it says here in um, 2 Corinthians, okay, chapter 11, verse 14. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Okay. Now, I would expect that these guys should know that. The false Christ comes before um, the Most High. All right, I would expect that. But see, this is the reason why it says that we have to study to show ourselves approved because not that a person that would minister, minister the word to you would mean to deceive you because they may be deceived themselves. That's why it also says to lead not into your own understanding. Okay. They should know that this is not, you know, Father Yahweh. They should know this. Okay. Especially when it says over here in uh, Revelations. All right. Revelations 13 from 11 to 18. It says right here clearly. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and spoke as a dragon. And he exercises, he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which, which dwell therein to worship the first beast, which, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, okay? And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the spirit of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they shall make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay. 
and he causeth all, both small and great, rich or poor, excuse me, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, okay? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, which is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. That's six 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 right there. You know, uh, I would expect why they out there hollering, you know, uh, all praises to Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai. All right, yeah, all praises to the Most High in the name of Yahweh Shai. You understand? Yes, but they are looking up on the devil and his crew their self doing it you see himself doing it in other words this is what they're doing and I, you would expect that they would understand that you know now you understand the reason why you know it says to study to show thyself approved in the words so you can know for yourself what is going on okay here in second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 9 through 12 it says here even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, okay? And with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that thy might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, okay? Okay? That they should not, that they should believe a lie. Excuse me. Let me read this again. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Okay. So see these brothers right here, man. Like I said, you would think. The way they quote scripture, you understand, and how uh, off to themselves that they are, you know, they want to like disconnect themselves from the world. And there's nothing wrong with that either. But they should know that those chariots up in that sky is not the real thing. It's not. I mean, it's not who they say it is. It's not. That's the devil and his crew themselves. That's what it is. <laughs> wow. See, when we just had our experience, uh, me and my wife, Thursday night, I was really shocked myself to see one. Let me guys, let me guys, let me show you guys. Look at this. Check this out. Check out that family. Look at that. Look at that. Check that out. One more time. Check out that family. Look at that. Look at that. Check that out. Now the thing is, is this, with the difference with me and my, you know, my wife and everything, we knew what that was right there. You know, and all praises to the most high in the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay. But that was not him. It says clearly right there that the, I mean in the in the word that the Antichrist will show up first. And that's just who it is. So yeah, we're gonna start seeing a lot more of these sightings and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um we're gonna see a lot of things. I'm telling you, all you gotta do is stick around because the word already told us. But like I said, I we were we were shocked. When we did see it, even though the word states that these things are going to happen, you still be shocked when even when you believe and you actually see it, you know, play itself, you know, prop everything that's prophesied actually come actually coming to, you know, uh, fruition. You actually you be shocked. And we were shocked when we seen this thing right here, you know, and we knew that it was uh, had to be what is called a, a UFO, you know, the, the government calls it. But. This ain't nothing but the fallen angels and their spacecraft. They are here. They are here. You know. 
So like I said, yeah, study to show yourself approved. Well, as the word says, you know, and lead not into your own understanding, you know, and check people out in the word. You understand, regardless of who you're listening to, even check me out. If I if I come on here and say this or say that, check into it. Check me out. It's right there in the word. Because, I, you know, it's not that I intend on misleading nobody because I could be misled myself. And that's the same thing I say to the, a lot of those camps out there, you know. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular situation. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.